Hello guys, I'm Jay here and welcome back to a new video in which I'm going to show you guys how you can root your Moto G5 Plus. So without further delay, let's get into the video directly. And if you have the Moto G5 Plus, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because many more awesome videos related to Moto G5 Plus, routing, ROMs, custom ROMs, how to unbreak and all that stuff are going to come real soon on the channel. And you don't want to miss them if you have the Moto G5 Plus. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. First of all, back up all the data that you need because after following this procedure, everything which is present on your device and when I say everything, yes, everything including apps, data of apps, internal storage, everything will be wiped. Once you back up all the data, it's time to boot into the fast boot mode and in order to do that, power off your device. Once the device is switched off, hold the volume down button and power button together unless and until you see something like this and this indicates that the device has booted into the fast boot mode. Now connect one end of the USB cable to your phone and another end to your PC or laptop. Now our work is on our PC, so head on over to the Motorola's website. The link of this particular website is in the description box below, so do not worry about that. You will have to sign in or sign up and it's very easy to do that. Just click on this Google option over here, select the email address that you want to sign in with and yeah, you have signed in basically. Open up the ADB folder which is linked in the description box below and everything which I'm going to use in this particular video will be linked in the description box below so do not worry about that. Open up the ADB folder, hold shift button on your keyboard and press right click on any of the empty space which is present on that particular folder. You will see something as open command window here, click on that and now you will see a black box. You need to copy this fastboot oem unlock get data command from the Motorola's website and paste it into the command prompt over here. Once you do that, hit enter and it will give you a lot of numbers. Now copy this code from command window by using control C and paste it into this particular box. And we copied everything from the command prompt but we do not need everything. So remove the bootloader and remove the brackets and extra spaces which are present. Do not remove hashtag or hash from there because that's very important. Click on check eligibility and yes Moto G5 Plus is eligible for this. So scroll down, select I agree and select request unlock key over here. You will immediately get your key in your email address. Unfortunately this time I did not get it immediately. It took me 2 hours to receive the key but when I had tried it earlier with other Motorola devices. I received the key immediately. Now it's time to unlock the bootloader on your device and all the commands are mentioned on the website which is an awesome thing. So fastboot devices is a command which is used to detect whether your device is connected or not and our device is connected over here so that's an awesome thing. Now you need to write a command which is fastboot oem unlock space copy and paste the key which you have received in your email address hit enter and it will ask you to enter the command once again because we are going to unlock the bootloader and it will void warranty according to Motorola even though you can claim the warranty back which is not a tough part in my opinion. Now press the up arrow on your keyboard and once you see this particular command once again hit enter and the bootloader on your device will be unlocked. Boom! That's That was pretty easy. Now the device's bootloader is unlocked and we need to flash TWRP recovery. You can download the TWRP recovery from the link which is given in the description box below. Once you download the TWRP file copy that file into this particular adb folder where we have opened up the command window now write a command which is known as fastboot flash recovery space recovery name dot img and recovery name can be different for you and you can rename the twrp recovery as twrp your particular name or anything like that you do not have to worry about that just make sure that you copy the twrp's name into this command prompt and write dot img after that now hit enter and twrp recovery will be flashed so 90% of the work is done right now now hit the volume down button on your phone. Once you see recovery mode over here, hit the power button so that the device will boot into the TWR recovery. So as you can see the device has booted into the TWRP recovery mode now. It will ask you for some password but you do not know that password even I don't know and no one knows this password and this password is asked by the TWRP recovery because the device is encrypted at this particular moment. And we need to decrypt the device. In order to do that, hit on cancel over here. Go into wipe, select format data and everything on your device will be wiped even though when we unlocked the bootloader everything was wiped but just do this in order to decrypt the device and now you will be able to see internal storage of your device on your PC but it's not visible right now because we did format data in this particular command so go into reboot and select recovery and we have to reboot into the recovery mode so that the internal storage of Moto G5 Plus will be visible on the PC. 
once the device boots into TWRP recovery, you will be able to see the internal storage of your device. So that's pretty much it. Now copy these two zip files from your PC to your internal storage. The first zip file is magic zip file, which we are going to use to root this particular device. And the second zip file is lazy flash zip file, which is used to disable DM variety check on your device. And why do you have to do that? If you do not flash the lazy flash zip file, then the device will not boot into the system and it will be stuck on the boot logo. So flashing lazy flash zip file is a must thing. Now going to install, select the magic zip file, select swipe to install. Once that particular file is installed, go back, select install once again, select the lazy flasher zip file and select swipe to install once again. And as both these files are flashed now, you can reboot into the system. It may take a little bit of time to boot into the device. Until that time, let me talk about why did I use magic zip file instead of super su zip file. So I'm recording this video after a month of Moto G5 Plus's launch and no super su zip file is working on this particular device at this particular moment. So that's why I had to use this magic zip file, which works super fine and which will give you root access to on your device. If super su zip file starts working in the future, then I'll write accordingly in the description box, which is present down below. So don't forget to check it out. And even if you flash the magic zip file, everything will work super fine. So do not worry about that. And the device will start as if it's a new device. So you will have to set it up once again. And now you have to install the magic manager if you want to do something crazy. Even if you do not install that, it's completely okay. I'm going to install root checker application just so that you guys can come to know that yes, I have successfully rooted the device and it is asking for super SU permission. That means the device is rooted successfully. So yes, we have rooted the Moto G5 Plus successfully and you won't be able to flash OT updates directly, you will have to flash separately through TWRP recovery. I may cover this particular topic in the future in another video. Let me know in the comment section box below if you want me to do another video where I'll show you how to flash OT updates through TWRP recovery. So yeah, this is much it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. And if you have followed this guide and if you rooted your device successfully, then let me know about that in the comment section box below because I can like pin someone's comment so that everyone else will come to know that yes, this method works fine. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then don't forget to click on my face right now and get subscribed because as I said earlier, many more awesome videos related to Moto G5 Plus are going to come real soon. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.